Apex is a crypto derivatives exchange where you can go long or short on different cryptocurrencies. However, it's a decentralized exchange, meaning anyone around the world can start using it with just a crypto wallet. No KYC or signup is required. This video will be a full tutorial on how to use the Apex exchange, such as how to connect your wallet, make trades, and everything you gotta know. Welcome back to Rank5, where we explore crypto together. As of today, Apex has $62 million in total value locked and $124 million in 24-hour trading volume. And according to data from DeFi Llama, we can see Apex is number 10. It's one of the largest perp dexes on the market at this time. The platform is growing and launching new features regularly. Here are some of the key features right now. Number one, Apex has low fees, which is competitive with other crypto exchanges and decentralized exchanges. You can also get a trading discount in the description. Number two, you can trade over 20 coins with up to 30x leverage, and they seem to be adding new coins regularly. Number three, Apex has a trade to earn section like a lot of perp dexes do. So every time you make a trade on the platform, you are earning some rewards in their native token. Number four, Apex is backed by some big brands and investors. They're also created by Bybit, the creators of the really popular centralized cryptocurrency exchange, which has over 15 million users. And number five, Apex works similar to a centralized exchange like Binance or Coinbase. However, the key difference is Apex is non-custodial, meaning you can hold your crypto funds at all times since all you need is a crypto wallet to trade. Lastly, Apex stacks up pretty well against the other perp dexes on the market. If you want competitive trading fees, lots of volume, and a great user experience apex offers all of that if you want to compare all of these perp dexes yourself to find the best one i will link to this comparison tool in the description i try to do all of the research here so you don't have to and it also includes the best discounts you can get to all of these exchanges to use apex let's start with connecting our wallet if you want a five percent discount on your apex trading fees go click the link in the description of this video it also takes you to the official apex url just in case there are any scam websites out there this is what the apex dashboard looks like and we have to connect our wallet in the top right corner so i'm going to click that and you can choose a wallet i have a metamask so i'm going to click metamask switch to the ethereum network in your wallet and if it's your first time connecting to the apex exchange you're going to have to confirm that you're owner of the wallet so i'm going to click send requests and just follow what it's showing me so this does not cost any gas fees we are just going to sign this message here after that, you will see a second button that says recover keys. You're going to click on that and sign a second transaction. Again, no gas fees and you are confirming you are the owner of the wallet. This only has to be done for brand new wallets. As you can see, now we are connected to the site. And if it's your first time signing up for Apex, you might get a notification that asks for an email address. However, that is totally optional. You do not need to input that to start making trades. Once we're connected, it's time to deposit funds onto the Apex exchange. If we click on this drop down here, you can see they support multiple networks. Once you have funds on the Apex exchange, these networks don't matter all that much. This is mainly used just for depositing and withdrawing funds. So I have funds on Arbitrum 1, so I'm going to click that. Then it's going to prompt me to switch the network in my wallet. So I'm going to click switch network. And if we go down here, you can see there is a deposit and withdraw button. So we're going to deposit funds, which goes into a smart contract so we can start trading on Apex. And if we click this drop down here, Apex just added USDT perpetuals in addition to USDC. So you can deposit either of these tokens. I'm going to do USDC from Arbitrum 1. And I have Ethereum in my account, so I'm going to click ETH and Apex will automatically swap the Ethereum to USDC because that's what you need to make the trades. Again, you can also make it swap for USDT. So I'm going to deposit about $100 worth here. Click confirm deposit. And then we're going to have to confirm this in our wallet. So this one has a small gas fee. I'm going to click confirm. And just like that, the deposit is confirmed almost instantaneously. And as we can see here, we have $100 available in my account. If we want to withdraw funds later, we would just do the same steps. We can withdraw here and you can withdraw to any of these networks. And the fee is to USDC to withdraw. Once the funds are deposited, let's look at trading on Apex. And it's very similar to a centralized exchange. The good thing, once you have funds on Apex, you don't have to worry about paying for gas fees and transactions are very quick. You can open long and short positions, set your leverage in the top, 
and select your trading pairs here in the top left. So let's go over how Apex works. Now on the top left here, you can select all of your trading pairs. They offer USDC perpetuals and USDT perpetuals. And this means you can open positions using USDT or USDC. Up here, you have your funding rate, which is very important to understand if you're opening leveraged positions. Right now, the funding rate is positive. So if I were open to open a long position, I would be paying a fee to the short sellers. If the funding rate is negative, short position holders will pay long position holders. And this fee will be calculated every one hour. Then obviously you have your charts here on the left, your order book here in the middle, and in the right where all the magic happens, you can open your trades. So to open a leveraged position, you can click this button here and set your leverage to whatever you want up to 30x. So let's say you wanna do a 10x position, click confirm. And let's say you want to go long on Ethereum, you would click there and set your order price. So let's say you want to buy Ethereum at 2370. Then you can play around with how much you want to order. Again, if it's set at 10x leverage, this will at 100%, we can do about $1,000 since I have 100 USDC in my account. And if we change this to, let's say 30x, then this amount would go up if we put 100%. So let's put it back to 10x and let's say I want to open a position with 50% of my account. You can also click this box here to take profit and set a stop loss automatically. And you can also do it as a percentage of ROI. So let's say you want to buy long and take a percentage once you are up 10% on your position and you can set a stop loss ROI to sell the asset once you are at a 10% loss. So as you see, index price will trigger a market stop loss order when the ROI is negative 10%. You can also look at some of the other settings here, but if I'm okay with everything there, then I would just click buy long, look at it one more time, click confirm, and then the order is placed right there. And we can see we have an active and that's gonna wait to fill until the price reaches 23.70. And as you notice, we didn't pay any gas fees. There was no confirmation in my wallet because we already confirmed my wallet once we connected it at the beginning of this video. Now I'm gonna cancel this. And let's say I just wanna do a market order. Again, let's do 50% of ETH. You can always click this USD icon to see how much it's there. And let's say I wanna buy yeah, 50% open along at a market order. So it'll take whatever is the best price at that time. Now you can use market orders when you want to get in the market immediately, but you might not get the best prices. Now you can use limit orders when you want to get in at a specific price, but you might be waiting longer and you might not get the trade at all. So if I want to get in the market right now for ETH and go long, I will click this, make sure everything looks good, confirm. And you can see your position in the bottom of the page here. So we can see the quantity that we have, the value of the trade, the entry price, the liquidation price, which is important, unrealized profit and loss. And then we can also add a take profit or stop loss here if we want to edit that or change that at any time. And then you can also close the position, which is very important uh, by setting a limit order or a market order here. Again, a lot of this is very similar to centralized exchanges. And lastly, in the top right corner here, you can actually play around with lots of advanced settings and even change your layout based on your preferences. Apex is also available for mobile on the App Store, Google Play. If for some reason Apex isn't working in your region and you're getting a warning that you can't trade, probably because you're being IP blocked and you need a VPN. But if you purchase a VPN, you can easily get around that. Now, if you wanna compare the other top perp dexes or just get discounts to any of the other platforms, go check out this comparison tool in the description. I'll also be posting more videos trying to find the best perp dex on the market. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.